poop. Nighty night, sweetie. Hey, you can't fly with one wing. Who wants to fly? I do. Oh, come on, not you guys too. Hey, the night's young. We're doing the golf course at nine sharp. Golf, it's an old man's game. Fun. Mm. Mm. You want to take it out? Yeah, we want an 80. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Good night, pal. Good night. <laughs> take it easy. Come on, Beverly, shake a leg. Coming. Hey, you two. I have to, pal. Little league try out at 9 a.m. Come on, Beverly, move it. Hang in till 2, 3 in the morning. That was BC, friend. Before children. Hey, man, nobody man. leave this house. Hey, that's my gun. Stay out of my stuff. Huh? Nobody leaves until our host gives his customary demonstration. Trace, oh, something on. loaded. Yep, so am I. Blanks. What do you think, Bev? Is he getting a little thin up there, a little fat down Just here? Leave me out of this, please. Well, it must be jelly cause jam. Don't shake like that. All right, all right. <laughs> Set him up. <laughs> okay, gang. You know who is going to do you know what. Come on, Bill. Oh, you want me to hold your coat, Prince? No, Louise does. Oh. Oh, okay. So what we do is we meet every Thursday. It's just women. We share our problems, and it's all very civilized. I, I, I. They want me to do it again. Again? You just did it last Saturday. I know they want it again. Oh, it's getting to be a regular thing. I'm a popular kid. Did that husband of mine start the ball rolling? What do you think? Mm-hmm. No wonder I'm in therapy. Are you coming? Do you want me to? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll be right in. Okay. Why do you let him? He likes it. Do you? Me? Mm-hmm. I hate it. Now why go along with it? Oh, I don't know. He's my husband. And I love him. Louise, that's very corny. You sound like Rogers and Hammerstein. Yeah, yeah. Right there by the tree. Right. Okay, the killer fire screen, the dining room chairs, and the coffee table. Hey, hey! And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cash Bentley, former high hurdler of Princeton University and intercollegiate champion for three years, running, will demonstrate once again his ability to surmount the obstacles of middle age. Handing his coat to his lovely wife, Louise, the great champion prepares to challenge time itself by leaping over the paraphernalia of middle-class life. Hey, 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 out the window, Trace. Relax, Nancy, they're only blank. I don't care, out the window. How's this, my precious? On your mark, get set. Go, okay. Come on! Hey! 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 Go! Hey! Go! Oh, have we lost him? Where the hell is he? No, you are. He's out there. There he's coming. Hey! Way to go! Who the winner? Thought for a minute you'd left us in the lurch. Ma, can I have a blow dryer for my birthday? No. Everybody says my hair looks better with a blow dryer. Well, everybody's wrong. That looks so young, Mother. You look perfectly fine. Is Dad gone? Of course he's gone. He's walking now. It's spring. One in twenty-seven fifty. Oh my God! What for? New cleats. I have a game today. Well, I have just enough money for groceries. I'll take a check then. I'm overdrawn at the bank, dear. Get it from Daddy tonight. But the game's today. Well, then you'll have to wear your old ones. They're too small. Oh, for heaven's sake, Dave. They'll last one more day. People grow, Mother, including their feet. And their hair. Well, I think people around here spend much too much money on equipment. 
I think we're getting double signals. Double what? Signals. Signals. My sociology teacher says the entire American middle class is giving its kids double signals. Yeah, Mom. Which means? Which means we don't know whether we're rich or poor. Yeah, Mom. I mean, you spend all this money on liquor and parties, and you can't even buy shoes for your own kids? Yeah, Mom. The answer to that is we are not middle class. We are upper middle class, if you want to know. And in the upper middle class, we try to be sensible about money. We try not to discuss it so much, either. Things will get better when Daddy gets his promotion. And yeah, when will that happen? Any day. Did he tell his boss we need more money? <laughs> no, he did not. You don't do that at banks. It's a set scale. You move forward one step at a time. Well, like doing the hurdles. Yes, all right, like doing the hurdles. Well, then, since he's such a hot shot hurdler, how come he's not cleaning up at the bank? Was that a crack? No. Mm. Well, it sounded like a crack to me. No, Mom, it wasn't a crack. I will not allow remarks of that kind in this house. All right, all right. Oh, good God, there's the bus. Hurry up. I haven't even finished my report yet. Don't forget, I've got the orthodontist at four. Yeah, I'll need a ride home from the game. Oh, your biology book. Wait a minute. Bye-bye, Mom. Will you get more shampoo, Mother? Will you at least get that? Yes, yes, Too bad they finally did you. Oh, just by one goal. It was sudden death. Lord, what a violent expression. series of disasters. First, the orthodontist. Skip it. And... Oh, no. Oh, sweetheart, look what you did. Look what who did. I left a note. Hey, Dad, I need new cleats. The coach says I have to have new cleats. Dad, the orthodontist says I should have a completely different... small cold breakfast. Try to be quiet because everybody else in the house is still in the sack. You walk to the station so your wife can use the car. You ride on a lousy crowded train. You bust your butt all day long in the filthiest city in the world. And what do you find when you get home? Hmm? Anybody tell me what you find when you get home? Nothing. That's what you find. Nothing. No one. That's what you really find. I had a game, Dad. And I had an appointment at the dentist. I don't care if you had an appointment with the obstetrician. Go start your homework, kids. I'm starving. We'll eat in a minute. Go start your homework. Well, I, I guess what we all better do is just get in the car and go to McDonald's. I'm here. Well, where would you like to eat? At the club. The dining room's closed on Monday. Men's bars. Oh, cash. Oh, yes. Well, how are you going to get there? Drive. 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I am driving cash with the kids to McDonald's. Give me the keys. No. I said, give me the goddamn keys. I said, no. All right. All right? Who needs to drive? I'll run all the way. When I get there, I'll take a shower with some hot water for a change and some clean towels for a change. Then I'll go down to the bar and I'll have a low... No, I'll have two low and brow beers and a thick sirloin steak and a salad with Roquefort dressing and a baked potato with all the butter I want. And I'll play some backgammon or gin rummy or pool and after that maybe I'll take a swim. Money before you go. How much you want? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars? Are you kidding? I owe Nancy ten and I have got to beat the kid. Oh, hell, take it all. Who cares? They're fighting more and more. Stay cool. When they stop fighting, that's the time to worry. She always says that. But this time she's packing a bag. It means it's coming to a head. It's Saturday. Give them till noon. Got some perfectly marvelous news. Oh, hi, sweetie. Listen, I have just been to the boutique, and they do indeed have an opening for the summer. It's on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You can... Are you sick? No, just lying down. Oh, good. Well, listen, it's on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. You can practically make your own hours. They... they... Oh. job. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Well, never on Saturdays. <laughs> well, she tried. Oh, Nance, don't be mad at me no, because I'm I keep changing I'm, my mind. I am not mad at you. Honestly, you two, such ups and downs. I never. <laughs> <laughs> well, will you, we see you at the Lawtons tonight? Uh-huh. Or not. <laughs> Probably. 
promise me something, Cash? What? Now, don't get mad. What? What? Don't do the hurdles tonight, okay? What's wrong with doing the hurdles? I just don't like it. Please? Whiz. Just don't. Please, for me. Okay? Okay, okay. Staying in shape. I don't know. It just. It just seems silly. Yeah, you didn't think it was so silly this afternoon. Well, I'm not talking. Seems to me a few hours ago, you know, you were rather impressed with my uh, athletic ability. Oh, all right, all right. I don't know. Day comes, I'm out of tune with my body. I just hope you put me out of my misery. That's what I hope. Oh, Cash. That really is silly. Oh, hey, Princeton bites the dust again. You all right? Come on. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Pat, how are you doing? Okay, oh. okay that's a scare. Oh! My God, he's hurt. Oh, God. Cash, Mike. What? Mike. what? Semantic. Oh, Don't right. try and move. Yeah. Trace Bearden, you want to get shaved off. I don't think I'm going to get shaved off. Oh, Mitchell, the number there, I think. Mitchell. We were supposed to go to the Parmenters after church, but I told them we were having our own communion service right here in the hospital. Wow, what a crash. You went down like a ton of bricks. You woke Amy, you know. I feel awful. I mean, it was our fire screen that brought him down. Don't Trace worry about it. Get he drunk. teases Get him drunk. all the time. I won't anymore, I swear. I'll give it up. Next Lent. Oh, oh. Sure. I hope you're satisfied, Trace. The poor man will be incapacitated for six weeks at least. Uh, at least. No. He will. I know. I ski. Save the thumb screws for home, okay? <laughs> okay, Cash. Take. Drink. This is the blood of the New Testament. Hmm. Well, here's to us. Cheers. I'll say. Cheers. Drink to that. Mud in your eye. Dave, help your father with the stairs. I don't want any help. What about breakfast, Cash? How much time, Louise? You've got to eat something, I'm Cash. late already. I'm going to drive you to the no, station. No, you're not. I want to. I don't want you to. Do something, Mom. I can't. He thinks this is just another hurdle. All aboard! Aboard! Beverly. Listen, why don't I come by and get you tomorrow morning when I'm bringing Bill? No, thanks. Tomorrow morning I get up ten minutes early. Why are you wearing your glasses? I have to, sweetie. More and more. You don't have to. Your eyes are muscles. Do exercises. You keep them in shape. You don't give in to them. All right. I'll try. Oh, well, I'm just about finished anyway. Guess what? This month we're a little ahead of the game. How come? You want to know? Yeah, I want to know. Because I've been working. You've been what? I've been working at the boutique every Thursday afternoon. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I, I wanted to see whether or not I liked it. Do you? Sort of. Yes, I, I do. I really do. It's fun. 
And it, it means money. We could even take a trip. We could go to Bermuda. I could write to that place we went on our honeymoon. Bermuda, huh? What you make one day a week. Well, you'll have your promotion by then. I didn't get it. You didn't get it? I didn't get it. Since when? How do I know when? How do you know when something doesn't happen? All I know is somebody else is sitting behind that desk. Oh, my poor sweetheart. Why? I always said it was because I can't fly. Can't fly? In airplanes, Louise. They're having money conferences all over the country. They said I can't fly because of this leg. Is that the reason? That's what they said. Well, we could still go to Bermuda. <sighs> How? Well, they asked me to work full time. Yeah. Me, isn't it amazing? I, mean, I, I could tell them I would, provided they give me a week off with pay, so I can take a trip with my husband who's had a bad accident and needs to recuperate. Look, I am not sick. Sorry. This leg, you know, it's like dragging my corpse around. Can't work, can't, can't sleep, can't take a shower. Can't do a lot of things. You're fine. You're wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm still a man. And I'm an athlete. Or I was once. And I will be again. Because I've got a body here somewhere, and I will not let it bring me down. That's the spirit. It's a challenge. That's all. It's something to get over. Cash? About the job, Cash. Should I take it? Full time? I don't care. Suit yourself. That's good. It'll be just a couple seconds more. Oh, oh God. There we are. Free at last. That's good. It's like new. Mm. Take it easy. I'll use this for a while. And stay away from the high hurdles. Yeah, what about the low ones? You heard me. Yeah, I'm going to take a jogging instead. Fine. Just remember, you're not on the Princeton track team anymore. Put on your pants and go home. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold everything. Look what I have. Hey. Since when sirloin steak? Since I got a raise. A raise? You hardly started. That's because she's so good. Well, at least I know how people ought to look. And they told me that in the spring they may let me help with the buying. Where's Dad? <laughs> What is it? There's a man up there. Oh, honestly, Wendy, it's only your father. Cash, dinner's ready. Dinner's ready. What do you know about double entry bookkeeping? It's a way to curb double digit inflation. I'm serious. What do I know about bookkeeping? Well, you're a banker. Not after five. After reading this, I think our store should have double entry bookkeeping. Great. Would you mind terribly if I took a business course at the community college every Thursday night from seven to nine? No. Would mind or wouldn't mind? Wouldn't. Thanks, sweetie.
I dreamed I did the hurdles again last night. Don't you dare, not even in dreams. Well, this time I took on the bank. I went over row after row of desks right up to the chairman of the board. Sailed right over his desk right on out the window. Was I in this dream? Yeah, the beginning. I asked you to hold my coat, but you just walked away. Good for me. Long day. What are you doing? I can't find my black shoes. What for? The Putnam wedding. Why aren't you dressed? We refused the Putnam wedding. You said you didn't want to go. When did I say that? Back in July. You said you didn't want to spend the last day of the summer standing around drinking. I said that? You certainly did, and so I refused. Well, you're telling me you changed your mind. That's all. Dave's got my shoes. I'll be standing around drinking. I'll be dancing. So will you. Yeah, just call me Cash. 
my turn. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bentley. <laughs> I think Bill is seeing someone. I don't know who. It's cash on people? Not that I know of. You're lucky. Oh, you are so lucky, you two. You've got a perfect day. Thanks. I've been thinking about getting myself a job. Good for you. Does it affect your marriage? Oh, no. It doesn't upset the equilibrium at all. Oh, no. Oh, gosh, no. Not at all. Louise, he's going to run the hurdles. What? Yeah. My dead body. Oh, Trace, I could kill you. You stirred him up. The hell I did, I tried to stop him. No, no, don't. It'll embarrass him. Please, let him. Then they can cut the cake. All right, my wife Louise will hold my coat. Oh, no, your wife Louise won't. <laughs> now, I guess I need a pinch hitter. Here, sweetheart, you do the honors, huh? New rules designated coat holders. <laughs> All right, pal, get me going. On your mark. Get set. Go! If you don't have a heart attack, your friends will. Jeez, I didn't look that bad, did I? Thank you. All right, shove over. I'll take you home. All right, you take me home, then. They can jump over the wall. This isn't a prison. Well, it is to me. It isn't to me. I don't know, Cash. 
You want me to go? Maybe. Okay, I'll go if you want. First thing. Get an apartment. Paint the walls white. Work at the bank, pay child support. Drink, grow old, play golf. Marry some babe who looks just like you. Please stop. You want that? Just stop, please. I lost it. Yeah, sort of. I, uh, I looked for your yellow dress, but I couldn't find it. It's not there. I threw it away years ago. show you something. Where? Come on. Okay. Come on. Come on. Look.
your mark. Get set. Sure knew how to end the evening. Remember? Remember? 